Everyone thinks that guys with expensive hobbies only want expensive stuff. Really all we want is for our family to have an amazing Christmas. But unfortunately, when it comes time for gifts, we're hard to buy for, and we often get the male version of the stuff our wives want. We get her designer scented soap. We get Irish spring. She gets fancy oil diffusers. And I get a candle. She gets Saint Laurent black opium perfume. We get dollar store deodorant. She gets Swedish chocolate, and we get re-gifted Dollar Tree chocolate-flavored wax. She gets overpriced Sephora makeup brushes, and we get Amazon nose hair trimmers. While these things are nice, what no man wants is for his family to waste money on things that we don't actually need or want. So this Christmas, let's help our family out. If you're going to get us something, get us things like this. So we said it in the intro, but people, whether it's men or women, we don't actually want our families to spend money on just stuff that, well, it's for the holidays, it fit in your stocking stuffer when it's just gonna go to Goodwill or in the trash at the end of the day. Yeah, and most of you are like us, you're adults, you're grown men, and whenever you want something throughout the year, you just buy it for yourself. So you inevitably you come across Christmas time or other holidays and people are like, oh, what should I get you? And they feel obligated to get you something. It's okay to tell them to not get you something, but if your family's like mine, they're still gonna buy you something. And this video is so that they don't end up wasting their money on something that you're just gonna re-gift, throw in a closet, or give to Goodwill later on. So this is gonna be a fast video. It's very much different than our other kinds of content. This is just to keep your family from wasting money. Okay, so uh, with that being said, we're gonna start with the cheap stuff. So 20-ish dollars and under, here are some ideas. What do you got, Josh? Cool. Well, one that I was surprised to see is a dry bag. This one is Sea to Summit. You can get them on Amazon or a lot of different locations as well. By the way, for most of this stuff that we're gonna show you, we do have links in the description of this video, so go check it out. Sea to Summit, four liter dry bag, under $20 write in the rain, something to write on, and then something to write with, a pen that's not gonna bleed when you write on it. You can get these in all different sizes, and if you know that uh, some people in your life have a lot of pens and things to write with, if you get them, uh, the same thing that they, of something that they have already, they're gonna be ecstatic. Yeah, we, these are things that we've all like gotten, and if we get more of, we're like, awesome. I'd rather have any of this stuff duplicates than Right, exactly. No, like, for example, if you know that your, your guy likes uh, shooting and they have a lot of CLP or gun cleaning products, we use these parts up. Also keep in mind batteries. Little trick for you guys, if you're buying batteries for someone, keep it lithium. They last better in, in cold weather. So try to stay away from alkaline, spend a few more dollars and go with lithium. Now here's, here's one thing for you. If you're on a budget and you're trying to save some money for your buddies, if you know the kind of gear that they're running, so maybe they have a PVS-14, you know what kind of optic that they run on their rifle, they have a white light, and you can go down the list, you could even keep it cheap and build out a Ziploc bag to keep them waterproof and go, hey man, it's only $20 or $15, but here is a kit that can go in your backpack or in your plate carrier, and it's going to recharge everything that you run with. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you have? Uh, okay, so I went with Mountain House Mills. They're like, you know, eight to 12 bucks from Walmart. I don't know any dude who doesn't like, love having extra ones on hand. <clears throat> don't get the breakfast ones, they're awful. But ladies, if you're looking for something to get for your dudes, get them like chicken fried rice, things like that. It's delicious. Uh, this one's called Battery Daddy, okay? So I know this looks ridiculous, um, but I got this as a gift. I think it's on Amazon. But uh, if you're a dad or if you're just a dude, you know everyone comes to you for battery swaps for anything in the house. This thing has been incredible. Absolutely recommend it. I think it's like 20 bucks. So a battery zaddy. Uh, MREs. MREs or humanitarian aid packs. These are two entrees. You can get these from just about any kind of military surplus store. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on Venture Surplus. You can get them on Sp Sportsman's Guide. A lot of different places carry MREs. I don't know any dude that doesn't like to have extra MREs on hand. I will take these all day long. Uh, battery banks. This one's about 20 bucks. You can get smaller ones that are even cheaper. Uh, 
It's easy to burn through these in a year or two if you're consistently using them. So I think I have like four battery banks and three of them were gifts and I use them all the time. So no dude is ever gonna turn down the ability to charge his phone on his kit or- um, Radios it, out somewhere. Exactly. Use them all the time. So uh, extra battery banks. Uh, you guys may have seen this before on this channel, Hawk Vittles. So these are just kind of like freeze dried goods. Uh, this is cowboy pasta. I don't know any dude that doesn't like cowboy pasta. This is kind of like an alternative to mountain house meals. Uh, these are very nutritious for you also. So uh, if you like, if your dude goes out into the field or a lot or he likes to go camping or hiking, this stuff is invaluable. And I think they're like 11, 12 bucks a piece. Get them like 50 of them. And if you I guys would. are going out, if you have someone in your life who is spending a ton of time outside, even if they're not in cold weather, wool socks. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of different brands that last and do a really good job of keeping your feet warm and dry. My favorite are Darn Tough. They are about 20 bucks a pair but they are so nice that I have, I have asked for these for Christmas mm -hmm. for like five years in a row and I finally have like enough socks to wear for a week straight and they're the best, so. As a dude, I would rather have one pair of good socks than like a 12 pack a of cotton. crappy socks. Yeah, Plus, exactly. Darn Tough has lifetime warranty, so if your dude ever wears a hole in these things. They'll just replace them. Yeah, yep. so Darn Tough. Now on that note, uh, going back to, if you see people with a ton of stuff and you're like, well, he doesn't need any more of those P-Mags, we use mm -hmm. these rifle P-Mags, they're about $10 a piece. Even if you want to spend $100 on someone and you get them 10 of these, we're going to be ecstatic. So that's a that's an easy go-to. I was I was actually at a family like get together from my wife's family and whoever drew my name out of a box didn't know anything about me other than I like gun stuff and he got me uh, like 50 rounds of 5.56 and two P-Mags. And I was like, how did you know, That's dude? And that was perfect. the best gift I got for Christmas yeah. that year. I've only spoken to that dude like twice in my entire life. And I was like, do you know me? Anyways, um, so this one's really cool. This is under $20. This is a little battery like cell holder from Dynamic Fuzz. He sent this to me a couple months back and I've actually used it a ton. Uh, no dude does not like some way to organize his batteries. Um, so that's cool. You have a, another battery oh, organizer. Yes. This is uh, this is another one. Uh, I can't remember exactly where I got this. I think it was from Amazon, but you can buy battery organizers of all different kinds. And again, you're trying to keep these uh, saved from the elements, away from the sun, away from the moisture. And even if you're not filling it with batteries, battery organization is uh, paramount. So that's another good way to go. Uh, camo face paint. Like if, if, if you hunt, if you go on milsim events, or if you're doing anything out in the field, this is awesome to cover your hands with, cover your face with. And I mean, they're super cheap, like a couple bucks and you burn through them pretty fast. So yep. also if your people do shoot or clean guns, D lead, lead wipes, these are actually for your health. And it, it also kind of shows that, hey, I know what you do and I want to take care of you. So D lead wipes, it's a good purchase for sure. If you're like me, you can never have enough gaffer's tape. And not just because we do video stuff, but I use gaffer's tape for so much like tactical stuff and taping stuff together. And I, I'll usually use the Ranger Green or I'll use a black. If you go with black or Ranger Green, I don't know any dude that's like, I have plenty of gaffer's tape. It's like, no, you lose a roll, you want another one. So no dude is ever gonna be disappointed from getting like really nice quality gaffer's tape. Yep. 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon. Agreed. Now around that 10 to 15 bucks as well, we got these sent to us from Canaan Provisions. But these iodine tablets from Aquatabs, again, Canyon Provisions does sell them, but for $15, this pack of uh, over 100, actually, I think it's right at 100 of these tabs, will purify 200 Nalgene water bottles. And, you know, with the way that the world's going, as well as if people are spending time out and about, if they're hunting, if they're doing that Milsim kind of stuff, purifying your water is a good call. So, Canaan Provisions, thank you for sending these to us. But for 15 bucks, 200 Nalgene water bottles, it's impressive. Yep, it is. Um, burner phones. This one's kind of a fancy one with an actual plan, but you can get $20 burner phones that are prepaid. Uh, at Walmart. And I don't know any dude who doesn't think having a burner phone is at least cool, if not very useful, if the need ever arises. So, very Jason uh, Bourne. Yes, exactly. Like if you, if, if you're, if our wives give us, give us burner phones, we're just like, oh dude, I'm CIA now. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> um, the last thing for me is books. Uh, and we have a ton of different books that we would recommend, but books are always an easy way. Even if, even if you don't read, <laughs> 
if you just want stuff sitting on your shelf and it is valuable to have your own like actual hard copy library yeah. because one day all the stuff, all the Kindles and all that stuff won't work anymore. So what books do you actually want to have uh, in hard copy form? The words can never get lost. So classic for me, and you can tell this one is very well read, George Orwell, 1984. Uh, every person in this country should read that book. One of my earliest and my most favorite books of all time, Marine Snipers, the story of Car uh, Carlos Hathcock, who basically built the sniper program. And this is about his time in Vietnam. One of the most amazing reads of my entire life. I read it, I think, where I was like nine. Uh, yeah, Marine Sniper, what do you got? So this one is Fry the Brain. Uh, it's just one of those classics. If you're someone who's interested in sniper theory or you just want a good book to actually understand what happened in history, no guy who gets this book for Christmas doesn't think, ah, oh, heck yeah. 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 And that, that book is also proof that the JFK assassination was not all it was cracked up yeah, to be. It's a lot of chapters of it. Yep. Um, also, Paul Revere's The Ride. Uh, if you want to learn about how our founding fathers networked and created uh, a community to actually step off and overthrow British rule, Paul Revere's Ride is one of the best books I've ever read in terms of how normal people uh, overthrew the most tyrannical government in the world at the time. So uh, we've also got a lot of other ones. The Fountainhead, Atlas Shrugged, um, uh, Army Handbooks. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. It's endless. Yeah. But on that, there's our $20 or under list. Let's swipe the table and move it up a notch. All right, round two. We're talking about the uh, range from $25 to $50. So inside of that window, Drew, what are you thinking? My favorite one is this Kuyu, uh, like kind of fleece lined uh, watch cap or beanie. I've bought, I bought like tons of buddies and my dad this for Christmas last year. They're like $35. They're the warmest, most comfortable beanie ever. Uh, I love it. and like no dude would not want that. So and inside of that, if you have someone who wears a helmet a lot, maybe they are mountain biking, maybe they're rock climbing or they're running around under night vision. I love this Arcteryx. It's a very thin wool cap that you can put on under helmet because it's so thin and because it's wool, it does a great job under helmet. So that uh, that's pretty cheap for what it is as well. Uh, drug rug. Okay, I don't know when I would ever wear this outside of just trying to blend into it to like, you know, a city environment, but I do wear this around the house from time to time or going out and doing work. These things are super cheap. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon and every dude like would love to have a drug rug, even if you don't use it very often. It's just kind of like nice to have. And they are comfortable. Yeah, and they're comfy. Now, if you are going into the city and you're worried about uh, people finding or following you, I've got to talk about a Faraday bag. These can get a little bit expensive because sometimes they become uh, waterproof as well. Price can go up, but you can find Faraday bags at or under $50. If you don't know, that turns off all signal to any electronic device. Everyone should have one of these. It's good to own. Yep. Um, Snake Staff Systems uh, EDC Tourniquet. Uh, Snake Staff Systems is one of the newer companies on the market making tourniquets. They have two different versions, the thin and the wide. They're right around 30 bucks. Um, Every dude loves to have tons of tourniquets. Uh, it kind of sucks to have to buy these for yourself. Like you're just like, oh man, like $30. I know I need one, but I don't want to buy an extra one. I'd like an extra one in the vehicle. I'd like an extra one in the house. I'd like, So like, just do us all a favor, get us a tourniquet. Also cat tourniquets. They're like 26, 30 bucks. So whichever one you get doesn't really matter. They're both great tourniquets no one ever gets mad about yeah. getting tourniquets and you need to train with them too and so they do yep. get worn out on the note of things that wear out gloves if you know that someone uh, uses gloves a lot man i probably need five pairs of gloves because one goes in the car one stays in the house one stays in my plate carrier one stays in my chest rig they go every everywhere and to be honest at the end of the year i probably blow through one or two pairs of gloves they can range from 18 to 40 dollars depending on what brand you actually buy but you can never have too many gloves. The other thing I hate spending money on, but I love it when people give it to me as a gift, is chem lights. Uh, uh, and this is, these chem lights are actually in a 100 uh, concepts, like little chem light holder thingy, which is actually very cool. Um, but chem lights are a great, and, and not just glow sticks, but like the Sialume chem lights in green, red, yellow, blue, just such a great stocking stuffer. And you know, depending on how many you buy, yeah, it's more than 20 bucks. So yeah, 
definitely those. Um, also have neck gaiters uh, in two different types. So these are both merino wool neck gaiters. These are great for um, just throwing on if you need a ball. I like these a lot more than a balaclava because it doesn't have to cover like my whole head. I can just kind of pull it up over my nose, pull it down wherever I don't need it. Keeps my neck warm. This one is a mid thickness. Uh, I believe this one is from Lancer or something like that. This one actually may be from Amazon, but this one's from Outdoor Research. It's the thinner merino wool one, uh, which I wear when it's not so uh, cold outside. And these are all in the, like the $30 to $40 price range. Now, we've been talking about water already in the first segment, but a company that is still staying, uh, <laughs> they're growing very fast. I actually did go buy this for myself and for Drew and Nick as well. Cana awesome. Provisions, I'm sure you guys have seen these around on our channel and a lot of others, but this is a personal water decon kit. These are fairly cheap for everything that they come with, which is like water purification, anti-diarrheal, um, waterproof bandages, so on and so forth. Or you can also go get a life straw. These are super cheap and the ones, again, at Cana Provisions, they're just who I go to and we tend to go to for water purification these days. You can actually screw on a, uh, a water bottle onto the bottom of this so you can scoop up water and drink straight through it. Now, another one, I know we talked about batteries previously, but in the a little bit higher price point is rechargeable batteries. A lot of companies are going to 18650s or 18350s. And for two rechargeable batteries, I would go with uh, $35 and you can also get these Theorem cell vaults that actually keep your batteries waterproof and stored. That's a pretty good go-to. And now, you can connect them to your kit. And that's all true. That, stuff, that so. is pretty nice. We also have to mention if we got a few more things to talk about on the table, but if you are looking at some of the stuff and you're like, man, I kind of want to peruse a website and find something that I know my guy or my buddy is really going to appreciate, where can they go to find? Sportsman's Guide. They're huge supporters of this channel. Uh, they're sponsoring this particular video and uh, I have shopped so much military surplus from them in the past, just like weird odds and ends things, uh, like military like replicas or I'm pretty sure they bought like warehouses down like, you know, in Hawaii or something and just got like scores and tons of military surplus and they're all like really good deals on it, yeah. so. So if you are looking to find something like that sniper veil or that World War II mm. helmet or some of those things, go ahead and check out Sportsman's Guide. If you use the discount code DIRTYCIV, all caps, one word, you can save $20 on the first 100 bucks that you spent. Now, on that note, my wife did get me a World War II helmet just as a trinket gift one year and I'll never use it, but it sets in my office and I just, I love it. Super cool. Yeah. Now I know I mentioned magazines. Uh, if you buy one, it's $10. If you buy two, it's $20. If you buy five, it's, you may start to get a little bit of a discount, but keep buying magazines. Guys always want more of them. Yep. Uh, also finally is this Coyote Tactical Solutions uh, Nalgene holder. So this is actually pretty cool because this thing will connect to pretty much any sort of kit as long as there's Molly on it. And uh, they, they do sell the Nalgene there also. But the other part that kind of makes this a little bit more pricey is, uh, is this water hose system. So basically um, it's got a cap that replaces your Nalgene cap and uh, it comes with a straw that you cut to be the, the length that you want depending on which size Nalgene you have. And then this whole hose kit, and it comes with a much longer hose, you cut it to fit so that you could run your Nalgene uh, on your kit or on your bag or something like, let's say it's over here on this side, you're able to route the hose up over you and you know sip on it. So I like this little system. It's pretty simple and it has a quick disconnect so that if you want to plug this into like an ice pack in, in your rear plate carrier. Or now a I know, water filtration system or, as well. Or water filtration system. Now I know I'm already talking about things that most of you like wives are probably not gonna know about, um, but this is something that every dude would love to have and it's pretty cheap. The hose system is you know 30 bucks. The uh, the Nalgene is 20 bucks, and then your Nalgene holder is another like 30 or 40 bucks. And I've used quite a few of these before. I like this one the best because it kind of has these like teeth, and as you tighten it, it kind of wraps around the Nalgene so it can't escape. So there's a common theme here, which is water. Dudes like water filtration, and and it is the hot yeah. new thing these days to talk about. Which, funny enough, is one of the fastest ways to get you to shut down if you don't have any of it. Now, on that note. Let's bump it up and go to the next price range. I'm down. Okay. Final round. Okay, we're talking about $50 to $200 price range. Uh, if someone's spending more than $200 on you, you should probably buy it yourself or just ask for cash because they're 
gonna mess it up. All right, Drew, what do you got? Uh, so some outdoor research gaiters. So these are great for anybody who hikes. Uh, uh, keeps your feet dry, keeps your lower legs dry, and just like free of getting like scratched up. These are about 80 to 90 bucks, super cheap. Uh, you can find them on sale for even as low as like $20. Wow. Also have uh, a Whoopi hoodie. So uh, these are about the 50 to $70 price range. And I don't know any dude who doesn't like Whoopi hoodies in every sort of pattern, every camouflage, I own six. Do I need six? No. Am I glad I have six? Yes. They're just awesome. They go with everything. They're super comfy. Now this is the one uh, that everyone has asked about and I, and I saved it for this video because this is the, uh, this is the, the hoodie that everyone has asked about from all the videos and everyone's like, oh, that's a warm fuzzy, oh, that's that. Like, no man, I got this as a gift. It is made in China, which I'm pretty sure all of them in this style are made in China. Josh, I'll let you hold that. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to type in on eBay to find this for $56.87. All right, you ready? 100% cotton camouflage tactical jacket smock parka army pullover jacket men. That's it, <laughs> 57 bucks um, plus $15 in shipping, probably because it's coming from China. And, uh, and I love this thing, it's great. It's not exactly warm, but it is a little bit waterproof and you could probably oil this up, or it's not oil it up, but uh, uh, wax it up and uh, make it a little bit better. So yeah, what do you got? Okay, my turn. Uh, anyone who shoots uh, is probably gonna be wearing out their parts, even if all they do is dry fire. These BCM Sop Mod kits, uh, they, they're needed for probably a lot of people's guns because they don't change their parts out all the time. These, I love to have these, like five or six of them. Can never have enough of those. Uh, something else you can never have enough of are multi-tools. If you're spending, my personal opinion, if you're spending less than $100 on a multi-tool, you probably either got it on sale or it's a piece of junk. Yeah. So uh, you can never have enough multi-tools. I love having these as many as I, as I can get my hands on. Now, in regards to training, they come in this little pack, this uh, waterproof pack, but these Sobek Designs uh, training tools. So you can actually staple these up to your cardboard targets while you're dry firing, while you're shooting, and you can decide to shoot or not to shoot depending on what it is that you see. They're reusable. He is a buddy of ours, uh, but we did spend our own money on these. They're awesome training pieces. Send those to all your buddies, they're invaluable. Now, if you're buying someone ammo, because as you know, you've been buying people magazines, you can never have enough magazines, this is the good stuff. The Black Hills 77 grain, specifically 77 grain, 5.56. Five, That's uh, it's really good stuff. It is a little bit more expensive. Like for 50 rounds, at this point of filming, it's about 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's spendy, but it's worth it. And it's something like we all cringe buying ourselves expensive ammo. So it's just such a nice gift when a buddy or even your wife gets you the really good stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I didn't have to buy that myself. Right, Black Hills, Red Box, that's the way to go. Yep. Now, uh, back to tools. This is one that Nick uses all the time and I've been wanting one of these myself. These are fix-it sticks. They're about 150 bucks, but they have a torque driver and a bunch of bits. So you can actually repair parts on your camera, on your, on your gun, optics, things like that. I think it goes up to 60 inch pounds. We'll check it and make sure, but that's a pretty cool little gift that you can throw in a backpack, in your car, wherever you might keep it. And for under $200, it's pretty rad. What else? Oh, I'm still going? Yeah. Okay, chest rigs. Now, again, I don't know any guy who would turn down another chest rig. At the moment, this has been a staple in not just the industry, in the military as well. This is a TAPS rig. And for about 50 bucks, you not only get the chest rig, you get all of the accoutrements to fit it out the way that you want. Uh, you can get these in a handful of different colors. Coyote is gonna be super popular, but maybe something else that you could do is get someone Krylon, like greens and browns and black spray paint if they do want to uh, spray paint their chest rigs or firearms as well, which would be pretty rad. And this is a pretty cheap one because it's like so widely used. It's not the fanciest laser cut, most modern high speed, low drag, low speed, high drag one out there. Uh, it's just one that flat out works and can take a ton of abuse. And I love having just like extra chest rigs preloaded. I can just grab it. Let's, you know, let's go hit the trails. Let's get out there. So yeah. It's a good option. What do you have over so here? So a five gallon jerry can. If you have someone in the military that you know, you can probably acquire one of these through your 
taxpayer dollars. Or you can spend your own money on one of these. Uh, you can go to pretty much any military surplus site. You may wanna clean this out with a little bit of bleach, but having the ability to hold five gallons of water is perfect. And if you go to Canaan Provisions, again, they're just the people that we go to for water. You can get those iodine tablets for fairly cheap. You drop one of these in here and it will purify up to five gallons of water too. How much does that cost? Uh, about 40 bucks, 30 to 40 bucks. That's cute. Yeah. I've got another one. Oh, jeez. Hundred fifty bucks on Amazon. This is fifty-five gallons of a uh, food-grade, BPA-free water storage. So I don't know any dude who's ever gotten one of these for Christmas. But if I got this for Christmas and I didn't actually have to go out and buy it myself, I would have been like, "Babe, you're awesome!" Nailed like, it. yes, exactly. Like, no dude doesn't want to have water storage on hand. For hundred fifty bucks, it comes with your. Uh, by the way, these holes in the top of these are called bungs. And so they're bung holes and this is a bung hole remover and it comes, <laughs> it comes with the bung hole remover and uh, it comes with a pump. Uh, I'll, there's gonna be memes of this, I'm sure. Uh, and the tube and it actually goes all the way down the bung in here, right? So you can actually pump the water out if you ever needed uh, to, to have removal. clean, yeah, if you ever needed clean water, clean drinking water, or water to wash with, whatever, it's nice to have 55 gallons on hand. Make sure you store it in a, in a place that doesn't get direct sunlight up off the ground on some like cinder blocks. Also comes with water treatment tabs for you to wash the thing out initially, get it nice and clean, and then uh, re-clean it if you need to. And that's all for 150 bucks. It's probably on the pricier side. You can find it cheaper elsewhere, but if you just want something that you know works, Amazon, $150, uh, 55 uh, gallon uh, water food grade barrel kit. It's good to go. So uh, the only other thing up here that I have, sorry, I didn't mean to one up you like that. No, I was done. Um, but uh, is also Jet Boil. Jet boil is, Boils are about 120 bucks. You can get the, uh, what's the other brand? Uh, the MSR. MSRs are a little bit cheaper. They're both good options. No dude doesn't like to have one, if not more, that they can put in their vehicle or put in some extra camping gear. Um, to cook their food on the trail or like, you know, in your house if you have no electricity and you can't start a fire inside your house. And then the extra fuel sources are only about six bucks a piece. So, uh, that's all I've got, man. Those are some like quick things that if someone got them for me, I would love to have. A lot of these were gifts that were given to me. And uh, we can so, do yeah. this all day long, but yeah. at the end of the day, these are just some ideas to spark what you or your buddy or your wife can get you. So uh, if you guys have any additional items that we're missing that you know every guy is gonna love, I'm curious because my wife is asking me what I want for Christmas, my birthday, every year, and I have no idea. So throw it in the comment section because we're curious. And just remember, we didn't necessarily make this video for you guys. Well, we did, but we made it so that you could just share it with your wife or your family or your bros. Uh, so it kind of takes all of the like, you know, guide making, off your plate. Just uh, copy and paste and then all your thinking's done. We just made the video that we wish someone else would make for us so that we could just share it to our, our friends and family. So hope you guys enjoy and we'll be back next week with some uh, typical content. Yeah. Oh, and Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. And Happy Birthday. Oh yeah, and we also have a ton of shirts, hoodies, and other cool stuff on the DC website, dirtycivilian.com, ready to ship. What he said. What I said. <laughs>